I want to give you number one marketing advice slash sales advice. Um, very, very important. Most business owners make it early on. It's bait in our brains, how we perform, how we uh, position ourselves, not only in the market, but in the house and when we talk to the homeowners. I'm on my way to Chicago to visit the roofing company that's been only in business one year. They're already doing $2.2 million. They have over 100 Google reviews, all five stars. I think they have like one, four stars. No negative reviews, no complaints. They do have YouTube channel. Uh, they do have solar division. You're gonna see them on our channel uh, in the near future. But you will not see a lot of content from this company about product. I've listened to their podcast, I've seen their website, I've seen they're very different. And number one marketing rule is be different, don't be the best. Don't even try to be the best. See, most people in service and construction industry, they try to, when we start, especially if your background is installation, you're gonna try to convince your potential homeowner that you're the best installer, you install the best roofs, you're the best painter, you're the best flooring guy. This is not why people hire you. This is not why people will remember your name. As a matter of fact, most people don't remember who did their service, who cut their grass a couple of years ago. Why? because you were not different. If you listen to people like Steve Jobs, how he was positioning Apple, you will understand how we make decisions. I'll give you an example. In 2012, I bought my first Mercedes-Benz. I came to the dealership and I was looking for a um, used car and I really liked this listing. E-Class, it was not expensive. It was $12,000, nothing fancy, 2004. But, uh, I remember how I became customer for life of Mercedes-Benz. I came in and this gentleman told me that he works for, in the same dealership for 38 years. 38 years he's selling Mercedes-Benz. Then uh, he took me on a test drive and he told me a few things about Mercedes-Benz. How many patents they have, how they give patents to everyone, how awesome the brand is. And I remember he asked me, is it your first Mercedes-Benz? Have you ever had Mercedes? I'm like, no, I haven't. You know what? I felt so good. Like, that was such an awesome experience. I think I bought six cars from that dealership over the next eight, 10 years. I had uh, GLs. I, I bought Mercedes for my dad later. Uh, the point is, he did not try to sell me the best car. He did not say, this is the best car, it's better. He did not compare the car to anything. We did not talk about how E-Class is better than Camry. He's like, welcome to the family. The same thing happened six months ago when I bought my Tesla. The coolest experience ever. I came to the dealership, literally bought a car on my phone, on the app. Uh, did not sign one paperwork. Everything was done online. And I remember when I came to pick up my Tesla, the guy told me, he's like, is this your first Tesla? I'm like, yes, sir. He gave me fist bump. He's like, welcome to the family. It was the coolest experience ever. And you know what? I am customer for life for both brands. I will have Mercedes-Benz and I will have Tesla. My video guy right here, he has Mercedes and Tesla. We, I mean, you need to understand that people don't buy stuff because it's the best. They buy stuff because it's different, because they remember. Like when I was selling roofs, I did not want to convince people that, you know, I knew that I'm in commodity business. I knew that there's 100 other people gonna sell the same old running shingle. Now, I'm gonna be a professional. I will answer your questions, but what I was selling? Well, I was selling my family. I was telling people, hey, we're gonna do this roof. Like you're probably gonna meet my dad tomorrow when we're gonna install it. My dad doesn't speak English, but he's gonna try to talk to you. And I remember even later, it's like, yeah, your dad came by. And people will invest in you if they believe in your core beliefs. And I always tell people my story, how I was living in a car, uh, you know, 15 years ago, how I live American dream. What do I sell? I sell a lifestyle. I'm always happy. 
I'm always positive. I'm always grateful. I'm always content. Uh, I praise this country. I'm a happy immigrant who enjoys American life, American way of life, American dream. I'm living it. And I think that's why people were hiring me because I was you know, always satisfied and I was selling it to them. They were, they wanted to be part of my journey. They're like, way to go. You work hard. You deserve to be here. You deserve the success you have here. Like, I want to support you. And that was always awesome. And they knew that I would always, you know, I would take care of them as well. Yours could be different. Like, it's, you might be opposite of me. You can be a go-getter, always hungry, never enough. Whatever. And it's totally fine. Some people will buy from you and will not buy from me and vice versa. So the point is this. Do not try to be the best. Always try to be better. Position yourself on the market. What differentiates you from 500 other companies? The company we're going to, I'm already blown away. It's one of the best companies that I've seen uh, online, online presence. Once you see it, you, you're you not gonna forget them. I'm actually gonna put a link to them below. So if you're watching it um, in a week from now, you will see or come back to this video and you will see interview with that company, company tour, you will be blown away. How fast can you grow your business if you're just different? So comment below how different you are. Comment below what is it that you, you say or do is differentiate yourself I love to differentiate myself as a family like you know I welcome people to my family to my business and I, I don't even try to sell I'm like I am who I am like I talked to one guy yesterday so on our website roofing-school.com we have this $12,000 deal and uh, it's us coming to film the business and do videos and stuff so he calls me and it's like how does it work I'm like, well, we come to you for two days, train you, make 10, 15 videos for you, show you how you can do it. That's it. I don't have to sell because I'm living it. And when people see and hear you being different, like, I, and I told the guy, like, I don't think I have to sell you. If, you. if you're ready to go, just buy it and we'll come. He's like, well, this is just unbelievable. Like, I'm sold. Let's go. So when you're different, people will buy from you just because you're different. So comment below what you think and what makes you different from the rest of the competition.